Hello beautiful hard working honest people welcome to Mark Silcox video cost review of uh, clip of uh, Amir Rahman Amir Rahman is a stand up comedian Australian stand up comedian from Bangladeshi descent and he was really struggling as an actor and uh, he he claimed to be just like any other colored comedian he claimed to be influenced by bill hicks and chris rock he was struggling to make his living from comedy and he was not able to fit in any real job he is also a qualified lawyer and was not getting i think enough work so he tried his hand on stand up comedy and then his 2 minute and 49 second clip went viral and uh, in this clip he talks about uh, reverse racism and uh, let's see what is in this clip which make it funny a lot of people don't like my comedy a lot of white people don't like my comedy a lot of white people say this to me hey i'm here hey get on stage you make your jokes about white people you say white people this white people that what if i did something like that huh what if i got on stage and i said yeah black people are like this muslims are like that you'd probably call me a racist wouldn't you and i say yeah yeah i would yeah you should you should never do that that's that's bad for your health clever choice of clothing western style fashionable and bow tie who wear the bow tie a clear sign of a desperate struggling performer looking for his own tv chat show now, like what you do that i'm you do that you get on stage you make your jokes about white people don't you think that's a kind of racism don't you think that's dun 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 <laughs> reverse racism he's using drum beat to increase the impact of a punch line uh, when he introduce the word reverse racism so audience can see that this is a punch line very clever trick i don't think that's reverse racism no because no because i think reverse racism doesn't exist right if you ask some black and brown people they'll tell you flat out there is no such thing as reverse racism i don't agree with that very clever he is using the word black and opening up a new marketing segment and also he is presenting himself as an educationist and introducing the word reverse racism to the whole muslim world i could be a reverse racist if i wanted to uh, all i would need would be a uh, time machine now he has introduced time machines which is a very clever idea he has included academics in his new marketing segment it would be really good idea if he can include survival of the fittest from darwin as well so that will attract physicist and biologist and also give a lot of balance to his talk i go back in time to before europe colonized the world right were there no colonies before what about islamic leaders islamic ruler they went to in different states in india and colonized the world why didn't islamic ruler came to colonize europe they couldn't build the boat they couldn't wear the cold just for kicks subject white people to color people stand as a beauty thing this is the weakest argument in the whole video i mean western fashion is copied more frequently in eastern world you have jeans and tattoo tattoo and jeans and why he's wearing suits and bow tie after hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years of that i got on stage at a comedy show and said hey what's the deal with white people why can't they dance that would be reverse racism he's a very clever marketeer he has uh, covered academics blacks and fashion blogger in his marketing segments he was a little bit beaker 
in time machine concept i was expecting him to include darwin's and also discuss more about uh, islamic colonization thank you for listening comedy video cost arabadachi <laughs>